Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. Shalom. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2, starting at verse 8. It says, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right, and who is the wicked? That is Esau Edom. All right, known as the elites, the international bankers, the men who run the world. It says, and then shall the wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Now the spirit of the mouth, the spirit of his mouth is the prophets, all right, is his word that goes out you know, each and every day. And it says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The brightness of his coming is Yahweh shall returning. You know, we like to say cracking those clouds. As the world ignorantly call UFOs. Alright, those are the chariots of Yahweh. And he'll be riding back in one of those ships. Alright, with the rest of the mighty angels. So it says, verse 9, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And that's who? Esau. You know, what is his working? What is his work? What is his power? What is his signs and lying wonders? His technology. Okay, they have dreams of a utopia where, you know, they'll live, you know, forever. They, we would be all microchip, transhuman. You know, we have superpowers, you know, these billionaires, you know, plug chips inside their bodies so that they can think faster, you know, and brain move like an algorithm, you know, to be wiser, to be smarter. All right. So it says even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders meaning it's not true you know they're forcing their new world order all right in the ways of lies deception you know all of these groups they got set up like black dot black lives matters uh antifa okay and and many other things this covert operation this scam scam demic plan demic we in is all of what a lie is to bring in their new world order so the working after satan with all power and signs and lying wonders and with all deceivableness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved okay so you who are israelites and don't believe in his truth it says with all deceivableness and unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved you know so two thirds of the Lord's people they, they, they didn't receive the love of this truth matter of fact they hated truth verse 11 it says and for this cause Yahweh shall send them strong delusions that they should believe a lie you know, making me think of the Romans uh, 7 and 11, or is it 11 and 7? He says, uh, what then? Israel have not obtained that which you seek it for. The elections have obtained it and the rest were blinded. All right. And then it goes on to say the Lord have given them the spirit of slumber. So Yahweh, the heavenly father, okay, have given them who did not receive the love of this truth. And did not believe they received what the strong delusion that they should believe in a lie all right they believed in the god of this world which is satan you know and his counterpart esau edom it says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure and unrighteousness you see that uh what's that second edge is nine they lawfeth the lord's law Yet they had liberty. It says that they all might be damned who believe not the truth, 
but had pleasure in unrighteousness. You know, everything that's going on, social media, all right, um, you know, all of the folly, the bread and circus, all right, the uh, enjoyment of giving into their flesh, being carnal, you know, just all right, evilness and wickedness, unrighteousness, it says, but we are bound to give thank always, thanks always to Yahweh for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord. Because Yahweh have from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. So we have hope, all right? Those who are bound in this truth and sincerity serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Paul said, but we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you, brethren beloved of the Lord. All right, the elect is the beloved of the Lord because Yahweh from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit and belief of the truth. You know, so we hold and possess, you know, some great treasures that no man can take from. And that's our faith and our belief. All right, as it says, through sanctification of the spirit. All right, the Rakah Kodash, the Holy Spirit. And belief of the truth You know having that gift of faith Alright verse 14 Whereunto he called you By our our gospel To the obtaining Of the glory of our Lord Yahweh Mashiach Therefore brethren stand fast And hold the traditions which Ye have been taught Whether by word or our epistle And this is the tradition We supposed to be rehearsing Not made up some you know, new Israelite tradition. You know, we're rehearsing the traditions of old, which was given to us, which our forefathers had rehearsed. All right. So it says, therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or our epistles. Now, our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach himself and Yahweh, even our Father, which have loved us. And have given us everlasting constellation and good hope through grace. It says, comfort your hearts, establish you in every good word and work. All right. So I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, it's pretty early in the morning. And, uh, you know, I wanted to read these scriptures here. What Paul said in 2 Thessalonians, you know, for brothers who, who are in the faith, you know, stay strong and keep pushing, man. We, we receive the uh, gift of faith and now it's up to us to endure all the way to the end all right so it says comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work all right because it says in verse 16 um it says and have given us everlasting constellation and good hope through grace so we have grace all right to walk in this truth and we use it wisely all right so hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.